Hey guys, name's Finn, playing some Requiem, a mission for the respectable and wonderful Dark Mod. I noticed I got a rope arrow, and I noticed that it might be able to cause me to get up here, and I noticed my bow doesn't have an aimer, which I should change. I know it's supposed to be for noobs who can't aim, but, well, I guess call me a noob who can't aim, and sit me in the corner and call me Jeff. You, I mean, you could. It would be a little nonsensical, but I'm a little nonsensical, so we'd both be happy. Why? Why am I allowed to get up here if I can't get anywhere? That's nonsense. Those horses are funny. Also, I, I guess I can get up here. Yeah, it's awesome how, of course, you know what? There's a lot that I really love about the Dark Mod. Let's not start up any more arguments here. As Arguing on the internet is like arguing on the internet. It's just as bad. But what I was saying is there's lots of other stuff. The mantling is amazing. The fact that everything you've ever wanted to do in Thief, but it wasn't precise enough, you can do here. You, know, you can shoot a rope up into this thin surface. You can mantle the thin surface. Or good freaking luck in Thief. I mean, come on. Like, people were playing gambling checkers. That's a game, right? On the roof. That's, that's an interesting bit of story. Um, I keep reading that this mission has got, you know, the spirits of of uh, DRK and Lady Rowena in it, and that just makes me even more excited because they're, of course, two of my favorite Thief fan mission authors, and a lot of other people's too. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I just don't know what to do first. I could, I mean, it looks like I'm supposed to maybe be able to explore the rooftops here, but then I, there's also doors. Wait a minute. I think I need to actually do it. There's also doors down there. Maybe I can't climb there. So, so, so maybe I, I should go down to the doors first. Ah! Or, you know, die first. Well, maybe this is just like a little area where you get like a chest boat or something. Or something. Uh, because, because maybe, maybe, maybe that's the case. It looks like there's not really too much more around here. Except this door. Oh, this door is upwards. See, I thought this was the ground floor door already. Nope, it isn't. And that's... How I made a mistake. It was my gravest calculation. I didn't even look at that portrait. Oh, it's some ships. See, I thought it was a cat for some reason. I mean, I know you might think that's crazy, but I think cats are cute. You might think that's crazy. And then I would have to call you Saney McSanerson, ruiner of fun everywhere. For a minute, I, I thought I couldn't climb through the window, but yeah, I guess... Okay, well... That's interesting. I could have almost gotten up there this way. Well then, I think I've soundly enough demonstrated my ability to blackjack this guy several thousand times in my last video there. So, uh, I, I, I'll just leave him be because I'm skilled. Oh. But there seems to be a door right here. So, oh, what? I can't get in? Oh, wait a minute. That's the greengrocer's key or something. The key place that needs a key. I don't have a greengrocer's key. Oh, that's nonsense. Well, oh well to that. I'll just continue on. Aha, now I've got oh, you. Oh, <laughs> I like music. I was hypnotized by the tunage. Oh, I'm back here. I have noticed, however, that these guys have names. Like, that guy's name is you know, Ross or Rick or something. Uh, I don't know. But yeah, that's kind of Lady Rowena-ish. Well, I guess I will blackjack him, because seriously. Well, no, okay, okay. see that that was that that was because I alerted him. You see, it's my party. I'll quick load if I want to. It doesn't do me. <laughs> Rolf, okay, not making a good show of myself, but like at least my misses have all been either because I missed him entirely or because I alerted him. And notice I, oh yeah, notice I can't <laughs> jump while carrying a guy. What? Why would that be? I love that horse hoof sound there. I mean. <laughs> You might be not at all surprised to learn that. And yeah, there's that guy <laughs> splattered along the floor and some other thing. Well, I'm I'm guessing I can enter here, so I'm gonna enter here. Right through the keyhole. Okay, I'll shut up. I noticed that still, when you choose the option in the menu, in the settings menu to uh, open doors automatically when you're done lockpicking, some of them do and some of them don't. I, I don't really know why. I mean, it's not a huge deal, really, but I just kind of, it seems a little inconsistent and it's a bit curious is all. Man, that's some kind of stair climbing animation. Tell you what. I'm in a nook. My falsetto is amazing. I go on stage and use it and everybody looks at me awkwardly, but really it's just my imagination. Because imagination is a powerful thing, son. No one's iller with a rototiller. I'm not Apple Jackson and this is not Thriller. Hey, you! <laughs> Whoops! Losing my touch now. That's not good. 
Oh, he's got an actual helmet. <laughs> Isn't that actually... Well, it looked like I actually hit him, like, there, so it's possible maybe he could be KO'd, huh? Get him! Yeah, well, maybe not. Well, curious, or anyways, <laughs> never mind, I'll just leave him be because I'm skilled. I'm the best Dark Mod player that ever lived. If you can consider me living, I might be a zombie. You don't know. Yes, I think you can be fairly sure of that. Oh, it's a storeroom. See, I thought it led directly to this room, but there's no room for error here. <laughs> AI chair physics are funny. Hesh, eh? <coughs> These names are not American. Hey, hey, drop the damn guy. Oh, you can't drop him when you're crouched, can you? How bizarre. I would prefer it if there were some slightly more existent darkness, like right here, because I'm stupid. Also, I shouldn't be picking up the guy all the time. I could... I could drag him sometimes. Sir. Whoa, what? Oh, I thought I could read. Uh, nothing legible is written therein. Alright, do I or do I not have a map? I don't have a map! Blasphemous! Man, some of these some of these locks just have you using the same pick one after itself. Like, what's the point of even having multiple pickabillies there if if they're just kind of the same? It's just sort of weird. Uh, I don't know. I seem to be in a place with nothing of use. Oh, well, okay. Maybe I can climb out. That climbing might be of use if you're a freaking gorilla. Do I look like an animal, baby? Well, I'm not. I'm a very boring lay. That guy seems to have disappeared up the rabbit hole. Yes, up! Too bad for him. Did I know the secret of anti-gravity? You walk upstairs. It kind of elevates you upward. It's the new invention of the century. Captain Targhin, not Captain Thigh Tights. What is a thigh tight? A redundant phrase, that's what it is. Bloody hell, now I have to hide in this corner until he leaves. This game is great. Some of these voice sets here are pretty freaking good, I just freaking noticed. Yeah, the doors just don't open automatically. Well, yeah, okay, well, anyways, I don't know. Uh, apparently there's lots of rooftop action in this mission, so maybe I'll get to some more of that later on. It's a freaking possibility. Hmm. I just received another letter from Rolf complaining about the men of the night shift. Rolf just doesn't understand. Of course they're of a lower caliber than him. Why does he think I made him sergeant? So that he could stand on a pedestal and be praised? He needs to stop being so aloof and raise the men up to his standard. We were assigned to this district to clean it up, not to receive plaudits for past work. I will have to speak to him again after his shift. Rolf also dropped off his report regarding the death of Father Harno. His business vexes me. I spoke with the father just the other day, and he was in good health and cheer. Rolf states that there is no evidence of foul play, but I remain unconvinced. I don't like this new priest disconced in Father Hanno's place. Father Marcus wears the clothes of the builder's servants, but has the eyes of a snake. I would not put an ill deed such as murder past one like that. Really? The plot existences is... What? A locked cabinet? Madness. Oh, yeah. Things that aren't really proper doors, they open automatically. Well, whatever. Case... Father Miras Hano. Father Miras Hano of St. Issa's Chapel was found dead in his bedchamber by acolyte Matty. Cause of death is unknown. However, there is some suspicion of foul play as Father Hano had been reported to be in fine health. Investigation of the body found no bruises or other such ill marks. Purpling, red bile, or other signs of poisoning were not present. Radioactivity. Case will be closed due to lack of evidence and the death deemed to be of natural causes. Or magic. Case, Alan Austin. Alan Austin, greengrocer, was reported as missing by his wife, Mela Austin. Last known sighting was by customers at his vegetable shop. However, an investigation of the premises found nothing out of the ordinary. Inquiries have been made with authorities in Glenham and Territon. 
Or, yeah, fi rather fight than quit. But no further sightings have been reported. Paid contacts within the black market also reported no sightings. Case will remain open pending further inquiries with relevant parties. Case Bolin. Bolin, no known last name, has been identified as a potential suspect in the Carlton Manor burglary. Paid contacts in the black market state that he is an orphan from the docks, but that little else is known of him. He has a short, thin build, and is roughly thirty summers in age. Only known identifying mark is a scar on the right hand running from the second knuckle down the wrist. Bolin has no known means of support outside of occasional work hauling cargo from ships at port, and fits the description of a suspicious character seen loitering around the Carlton Manor. Further surveillance is recommended. Come on, Bully Bull. You don't want to hang around manners. It'll make you look bad. Oh, that is a chest. I thought it was a book. Oh, it is. It, it looks like a book, but it's a... Okay, <laughs> I get the general idea. It's how you hide things, you see. It's how hiding works. <laughs> right. I could use one of those to protect the back of my head by protecting my face. It makes some sort of no sense. I like that there's light switches. It's very convenient for me. As a thief, you understand. I'm always looking for the easiest and least challenging way out. I don't really have any passion or pride. In fact, I don't even know what those words mean. I know what incorrigible means, though, all the time. Oh, he saw the open door, because I'm, I'm like, stupid and thought the AIs wouldn't notice that, because AIs never notice that. Oh, wait a minute, what's this? Oh, I see. Captain Targan, as you know from your many years of working with me, I have been a studious officer and a diligent member of the City Watch. Yet instead of receiving a station worthy of my accomplishments, I have been saddled with the most loutish gang of incompetence on the entire force. It is bad enough that I am forced to share quarters with these men, where I am subjected to their whispered insults and scorn, I might add. But this would be tolerable if they could do their jobs properly. Arno and Kevil show up frequently with liquor on their breath, and I just found Hesh gambling with the men up in the attic. They are slovenly in dress and comportment, and none of them can perform a patrol properly. I must ask again why I have been transferred here, and registered a further complaint as to this injustice, Sergeant Rolf Timms. I love how they use the name Kevil, as it is used in Thief. Nice little reference. Did that guy go down there already? Oh, well. Let's see what we have here. <laughs> You didn't see anything, you didn't hear a door close. Well, up to now, it's basically kind of like loot the loot uh, and read the fairly lengthy books, which is cool. <laughs> really? Just boots and it's locked. Pish and posh, what? This one was locked doubly so, so it must actually contain something slightly go well, broadheads. Okay, I'm probably not going to use it, but, well, oh, Jesus, I guess it's something. Now, I'm guessing you probably have a hard time knocking out AIs in their sleep. I'm guessing you probably can't do it, I'm guessing. Oh, I just did. That's amazing. Somebody was having hardcore trouble with that man. <laughs> the physics are endlessly amusing. Guys, don't fix them. They're perfect. Hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, it wasn't guarded by a lock, but rather by cunning deceit. Ah, that's another thing. In Thieves, sometimes you can't lean very well over objects or over other things, sometimes for no reason. And, uh, in this game, everything just... Everything is just so smooth in the Dark Mod. Hang on. Because... <laughs> it's just... I, I keep expecting it not to be, but it just is. It's freaking wonderful for serious. All right, let's read a journal. Oh, bugger. That stick in the mud roof found out that we were gambling up in the attic and took our ladder away. That was the only way up there. How am I supposed to get my winnings now? Kevo got him back, though. Pride opened his footlocker and stole his drinking cup. Serves that bastard right. <laughs> well, there's a cup back in here. I don't know if it's like the one... Doesn't seem to matter, but it does seem very excited. I love those Mexican jumping cups. They are my favorite thing to drink out of. Hoppy, it makes a car get up and go. 
Don't put it in the lake or you'll get busted by the super fund. Okay, well, I think we can all take a jolly old guess as to where I could decide to go next, and that is possibly outside through the back door there. He's not well, going to be happy about this. That's for sure. I love that voice. <laughs> Very good. Uh, I was recommended to possibly play on easy, but I decided since that since I practiced blackjacking and found it to be fairly easy now that uh, I wouldn't bother playing on easy and just keep playing on medium because it seems like I'm doing fairly okay on that sort of skill level. So, yeah. Now, I don't know if I need to. Can I can I mantle up on here or? I guess I guess so. Although it is a bit noisy. I know there's a dedicated mantle key, but what? I managed to do it before. Oh, did I? Oh, yeah, you could climb over gates, stupid. And thief, you normally... Well, I guess in New Dark, you sometimes can. But a thief, you're not supposed to normally climb over gates. So there I am, thinking like a thief player again. It's going to be my undoing many more hilarious times in the future. Wow, that looks pretty pretty. I like my stained glass. It's very colorful and therefore gains my instant approval. And it manages to seduce me every night. And I'm fine with that, baby. Even though it causes horrible pain with it splintering and shattering, it's a good kind of pain. Right, so now I'm in the streets, which are actually kind of crowded. And another thing you can do is to catch a body before it hits the ground. That's another thing you can do. All right, well, I guess the first thing I'm going to do is visit Mr. Redhead Pansy McGee here. Wow, what? Oh, he's wearing a cap thing. That would explain it. Master... Master Jonas, I thank you again for the fine restoration work you have undertaken Don't on the upper chapel windows. Shut up. However, I have just received a distressing report that one of your laborers nearly slipped and fell off the roof yesterday. I must stress that while it is possible for your workmen to make their way around the unscaffolded edges of the roof, the space in these areas is quite narrow and the fall quite steep. Please ensure that your workers use all just precautions as they undertake their labors. I tremble at the thought of... Innocent bloodshed being shed on this holy ground. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you don't, sir. <laughs> Silverfish! I'm definitely not at all getting the hang of this. I'm really terrible at it. That's, that's, that's reverse psychology that I'm using again. Oh, it's a scaffold key. It's a scaffold key. Well, I still want to know the key to the green grocer. I mean, that's an optional objective, I guess, but I still want to do it because I love options. <laughs> that's my, that's my in love voice, you know? Uh, if I, if I fall in love, I'm just like, I'm, I'm in love with you. Can't you see that? <laughs> and it's just absolutely just freaking romantic making all over the place. But for those of you who wish for me to take this gaming experience seriously, well, uh, too bad, I guess? That horse ambience just keeps happening. God have mercy on you, Bill! Damn! <laughs> what? Enjoy, th Enjoy thine eternal torment, foul villain! Yay! I really like this young hammer acolyte sounding guy's voice. It sounds like kind of the young, eager acolyte. Yeah, I don't, I'm, I'm just saying things that are obvious, but I like to state what I like. That way you know that I like it. Go away! Good boy. Well, of course, I should be trying to look up for rope spots and stuff. And uh, I guess they really do... Ooh, is, is this, like, valuable stuff? I guess they do expect you to uh, take your rope back. Ah, see, I knew I thought that one was cool. Yeah, because you've only got one rope, I mean. This is very nice architecture. I have said it before, I'll say it again. Just the simple act of putting gaps between stairs really makes them a lot more interesting than just the simple solid block style. What have we here? Whoa. This is really nice. I mean, it's just a little hallway, but this is a very nicely architectured... I love that glass ceiling. This is really good. Wow. Okay. Closed for fixing. Well, is this the scaffolding type key then? No. Captain's key. When did I even... 
get that? Oh, well. Audio cues ahoy! Exciting. That one opened. One might almost expect that maybe certain objects are not properly tagged as doors or something weird. Maybe it's to do with proximity. Maybe it doesn't open if it's towards you. Uh, I don't know. All of these are just kind of theories. Hey, you. <laughs> you can't see. It's hilarious. Hmm. Something about this job just ain't right. The boss was smart to get us up here posing as workers, but Fen made the jump over an hour ago and ain't come back yet. Oh, really? That Fen? What a fool! It don't take so long to bash in some helpless priest's head and steal a letter. There's something wrong about all this. I feel it in my gut, like we're walking into something bad. I'm waiting a little while longer, and then I'm gone. Fen be damned. <laughs> yeah, are you making fun of my... Previous inability to bop somebody on the head because that's hilarious. <laughs> Very good. Well, that's that's the reference. I I, I thought uh, I thought it would come later somehow. I, I don't know, or maybe it, that it would be more secret. But hey, I'm not complaining. That's, that's pretty freaking good, and I deserved every bit of that needling. So uh, I think I'm gonna leave it here after after the part that everyone's been waiting for it's all downhill from here no just kidding it's not it's all uphill sweat tears and blood they're all great things and we'll all enjoy them or die so see you guys next time for more pretty cool looking stuff and bye for now and thanks for watching and bye for now as well